Howdy guys, it's Ross from TravelMusicLove.com Inspiration from the heart Today we're on Pattaya Beach doing our TripAdvisor review Access to Pattaya Beach is very very good whether you're coming by road, whether you're coming by foot, whether you're coming by boat You might want to bear in mind that access to Pattaya Beach is via a one-way street from one end going down towards Walking Street I say a one-way street the, the motorbike taxis tend to kind of go wherever they like, but officially it's a one-way street. Obviously then you can access it by BART bus, you can access it by taxi, you can get there by motorbike taxi, all of them will take you down there. There does seem to be plenty of parking down there, although it does obviously get very busy. Parking, I'm not sure what the parking situation and the rules are, to be honest, in Patea, as to whether you're supposed to pay. I've never seen any parking meters or anything like that. I've never seen any parking wardens. I mean, I've never really seen anyone out and about, to be honest, trying to monitor anything like that. Uh, so I'm pretty sure you can just leave the car somewhere centrally as much as you can. I've never seen anybody clamping, which is quite something, really, considering the driving standards here, that, you know, people just sort of seem to get on with it. So cars and motorbikes are normally parked fairly sensibly. It's a very short distance, as you can see, from the pavement, from the esplanade, if you like, down to the actual sea. Moving on to the facilities at Patea Beach. As you can see, there's lots of boats kind of just moored offshore. They're just kind of sat there. I don't know whether they're like fishing trips and things like that. I know you do have, obviously, trips going out from Bally High Pier, just round the corner. But there might be some fishing trips and things that are available. There might just be like privately owned boats that are just sat there. It's actually something that I quite enjoy looking at. It seems to be quite unique for Patea to have all these boats just sort of sat there. It does seem to be lots of water sports as well. I have heard one or two iffy reports about dodgy boats or, you know, people scamming you and things like that. Not something that I've actually seen. Just probably hearsay stuff, I'm sure. Just be careful, just be sensible with anything like that. I've equally seen plenty of people going out on jet skis and enjoying the ride. I've never seen anything like a Del Boy episode where they've just flown off and ended up in Mauritius. There are plenty of food and drink options down on the beach as well. Lots of sunbeds, a lot of them are kind of under canopies. They're all part of, you know, sort of privately rented, privately owned little sections of the beach, it seems. So people there that have got their kind of food options and drink options, you've got sunbeds there as well. You could probably just use the sunbeds without buying anything and you might have to give them like 50 baht or something just to use a sunbed. That's absolutely fine, you might use a sun lounger. You can get some beautiful food down there as well at these little places. There's restaurants and bars and everything like that just opposite as well on Beach Road. Plenty of stuff going on there. But if you want to have something actually down on the beach, if you want a bit of sand in your curry, then um, why not get something down there? It's absolutely fantastic, the stuff that's available. Normally about 10 or 15% more expensive because you're down on the beach, but not too much. I did have a beautiful jungle curry there, as you can see. <laughs> It's here, it is here. It's quite a small portion, um, but that's gonna do me absolutely fine. It's about 200 baht, uh, which is quite expensive actually, but we are down on the beach, so I guess you pay for the privilege of sitting on a sun lounger on a beach in Thailand. Let's see. I love these little aubergines you can get over here, you just don't get them anywhere else. Oh man. Oh, oh the flavors, oh the spice. <laughs> A big old slice of chicken as well. Oh man. <coughs> oh, really intense flavours. Oh, that is really spicy. That's proper nice. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It's got such intense flavours. If you want to see the full video of that, just look up Daytime Patea Jungle Curry or look at my channel. You'll find that and there was a little daytime trip I did and then I went down there and tried that beautiful curry. There's also an in-between option from the food actually on the beach or the food at Beach Road and the drinks there. There are vendors that are literally just sat out on the street there as you can see, just getting on and pounding their tastes. I love all of that sort of thing. They're doing some really good food there. Some other food that has already been cooked that's just sat there ready for you to buy, maybe five or 10 baht. Plenty and plenty of options down on the beach. You won't go hungry or thirsty down on Patea Beach. Around the area, you've got to try and be a little bit careful just to avoid the hawkers unless you want to buy stuff. But there's a lot of people down there trying to sell you bits like sweatbands and flowers and Viagra and all sorts of bits and pieces. If you want it, great. 
Otherwise, just say no thank you, mail up and that's it. Just, you know, they'll, they'll move on. They're not too bad here compared to other places. They're pretty good at just accepting it and moving on. For me, coming here over the last six or seven years, Patea Beach has improved in cleanliness. It's got a lot cleaner and tidier. It looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing. However, as you can see, there's still work to be done. It's the same with a lot of beaches. You could look at any beach like that. But if you've got this image in your head, this kind of chocolate box, kind of slightly fake image, like a TV commercial of a Thai beach, Patea Beach won't be it. But it's very pleasant. There's just still work to be done. Still lots of stuff there to be cleared up. But it's getting there, it's in the right direction. There's lots of infrastructure in place going on, lots of work, lots of improvements, and that's a good sign, especially since COVID. Bravo to Patea for that. There aren't as many freelance workers. I'll let you work out what that means down on the beach these days that I've noticed anyway. That's a good sign, really. There's plenty of that sort of thing going on up in the town if you want to look for that. Interesting, you know, our families here bringing kids of all ages, walking out and about, going into the bars. That's fine, that's each of their own. When I went to Amsterdam, the red light district there, literally kids walking down, looking at the windows, just like half naked ladies. I mean, the, the, why didn't I ever get that as a day out? Always in with a couple of hints and tips. There's not really anything I can suggest here that's more than just common sense. Mosquito spray, sun lotion, a few bark with you if you want to get a drink, some things down on the beach. Be prepared to be shamed while you're sat there enjoying a bit of curry, having a few beers. There's lots of joggers going past. Be prepared for that. Make me feel, uh, yeah, happy with yourself. Really then, this was more of a, a visual review of Patea Beach, just so you can see what's going on down there. It is what it is. I think it's fine. It's not the best beach in the world. It's not the worst beach in the world. There's plenty of facilities down there, plenty of options. Just enjoy yourself. The official Food Travel Music Love rating is 6 out of 10. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Lots more videos coming up soon. Lots more on the channel already. Ross, foodtravelmusiclove.com, inspiration from the heart. Thank you.